Hafen City is a district of Hamburg and is where our project is going to be developed. We are talking about a district placing an old dockland transformed to be part of the city. In the analysis phase, we studied the area to get to know it better and we focused in the connection with the city center, the public transport, the blocks orientation and the variety of uses of Hafen City. We can appreciate a big quality difference between the west and the east part of the district. Therefore, we choose the east part to develop our project since it is more problematic than the other one. Our first task was to design a completely new urban layout. We did it in a way that almost every block is properly orientated according to the lead regulation. Once we have defined all the blocks, we can manage the different spaces. The variety of blocks allows us to have buildings, patio working as semi-public spaces, squares defined by semi-open blocks, big public spaces defined by multiple blocks, and also green spaces that are the core of the project. This condition affects directly the hierarchy of the squares, and it allows the movement inside the neighborhood. Buildings height are determined by the E-situation. Those facing the main avenue are taller, 5 or 6 stories high. Those facing secondary rails are about 4 stories high, and those near to the coast are even lower, to increase the relation with the water and to allow the rest of the building to have good views. Having in mind the quantity of stories per block, we obtained the density of the dwelling units of the new neighborhood. One of the project's purpose is to create a mixed-use neighborhood. The lower floors of the buildings will be destined to different businesses and uses. Most of the shops are in the main avenue. Industry and offices are isolated. Bars and restaurants are in the sidewalks. The sports city is related with the park and near to the city, and the cultural areas are divided in three zones. This project, we are so concerned about green spaces. For that reason, we have created a large park that structures the neighborhood. The park has different points of interest that guarantee activity during the whole day. Besides, the park can also connect the different parts of the district using green bridges, increasing the relation between people and nature. We established a hierarchy of streets, so we have a main street where most of the shops, some restaurants and the trainway are located. This street crosses all half the city from west to east and it's connected to the green net. The urban layout is designed to be completely walkable in order to encourage a healthy way of transportation. Besides, the district has a large sidewalk that works as a transition between the water and the blocks. Water is the main feature of Hafen City and the aim of this project is to approach it to people. Most of the public spaces are directly connected to the water. This space has a great extension to practice some physical exercise. Bikes are also important in this project and have almost the same facilities as pedestrians. They can go wherever they want and there is a back lane in some streets so they can go faster. For both of them, we created leaded bridges to improve the connection. We decide to place the car roads and the train underground to liberate the upper ground, offering the tram as a better option of transport. Green covers will appear on most half and city roofs for aesthetic and functional reasons. This system works as a regulator of temperature inside of the house, contributes to balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the city and it also helps to clean and filter rainwater.